Welcome back to Isha Gaming. This is a special episode where I have my favorite YouTuber as a guest on my channel. Happy Console Gamer. He's a guest later in the video. So this video is about mindless games. Also, we could call it brainless games, but this is purely meant in a good way. These are games that are good for when you are stressed out, don't want to think at all basically and life is just too much you just want to play something to relax nothing story heavy nothing text heavy or strategy heavy just play something that is satisfying without a brain and we all have those moments i'm sure i do sometimes don't want to read anything just play something that is fun. So that is the concept of the video. Just basically games that you can play on autopilot. So I hope you want to hit like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. Let's check out some mindless games. So when writing this video, I came to the conclusion that certain genres of games are perfect for this mindless gaming setting that we are creating. So I am going to divide these games into genres. The first genre is gonna be shooters. Shooting games are, in my opinion, very automatic and can be entirely played in autopilot mode. Only based on my reflexes and muscle memory. Some of my favorite shooters are the good old Destiny 2. And I've talked about this game too much, actually, too much on my channel. It's just a weird game that I mention briefly several times a year on this channel. Now, I have been playing Destiny 2 on and off for the past four or five years, but especially intensely the first couple of years, I have several hundred hours played in it. And for the majority of my time in Destiny 2, I talked over PlayStation Party with my good friend Katrina Beata. By this I mean that we could hold conversations about just about anything else than what we did in the game. That is what I mean. It's such a mindless game that you don't need to pay a ton of attention into. You can totally play this on autopilot and play it totally on just reflexes and muscle memory alone. Where the quests and missions and co-op dungeons were for the most part only based on shooting all enemies and progressing towards the way marker. Absolutely brainless at times. It was very easy to have conversations on completely different topics than what was happening in the game. It was much like driving the car, which is also for me done on complete autopilot. Now, there are also other first-person shooters that provide the same experience as this game. And I can mention the Borderlands series is pretty much the same concept, which you can also find on the Nintendo Switch. And I also want to mention the free-to-play games, which are Warface and Warframe provides the same experience when you're stressed out. <laughs> Now I have invited happy console gamer Johnny Millennium over on my channel and now we're gonna hear what he has to say. Thanks Irene for having me on. And yes, there's so many games that I like to play in autopilot mode for my brain. I just turn my brain off and I play these games. And I play these games over the years quite a lot, more than 50 plus times. They're comfort zone games, games I can turn on anytime and just play. And sometimes I just do the first level but I always go back to them over and over. My first game is a game from 1987, an arcade game called The Ninja Warriors. A real personal favorite of mine. I've talked about it on my own channel quite a lot. The big deal about this game was it was three screens long. So it was super widescreen in the arcade and you're a ninja warrior and you're taking down an evil dictator and you're fighting wave after wave of enemy soldiers. And so yeah, you're like an exoskeleton, a terminator with human skin all over you. A ninja as well, so cool. And you're going through all these waves and waves of enemies fighting them. Like, I, I mean, I'm telling you, so many enemies are coming at you. 
The thing I like about it is I can turn it on and it's simple in design, but there's a lot of fun things that you can do. You can like jump backwards over people, hit them from behind. Uh, you can use your shurikens at them, but it's very therapeutic for me fighting all of these enemy soldiers. And I, I really enjoy the game. I really love the graphics. The musical score by Zantada, second to none, a real comfort zone game and one that I go to over and over again. My next game is a game from 1992 and I was in my local mall, I was walking by a little arcade that used to be there and I went in one day and I saw this game playing and I was like, oh my god, it's not Street Fighter and oh my god this is great because it was something different than Street Fighter, it was a fighting game for the Neo Geo and we already had Fatal Fury going on there and that was really cool but then they introduced World Heroes right here and the claim to fame of this game is you're fighting different opponents through different time periods. So there's like Rasputin in there. You're actually fighting a robot uh, soldier from Germany from back in the day. Very strange stuff. My main character I always like to pick is Fuma. I love it. And the reason why I like this game and why I go to it and turn, go into autopilot mode with it is because of the controls and the things you can do. In regular fighting games, you can just do the normal jumping with your main characters. What I like about this one, you can do the double jump. So I can do the double jump into combos. And the amount of interesting combos you can do in this game are really entertaining. And that's why I like to play World Heroes. I can turn my brain off. I can just go in there, do a lot of double jumps into combos, into like shurikens, into uppercuts. And I find that very, very therapeutic. I, I, I really like this game for that aspect, no matter when it is, I can always turn it on and just do those combos and just get lost in there. And I, I really enjoy it and I really enjoy all of the different characters you fight from different time periods. Now what's really interesting is all of these games are from the arcade back in the day, and this is no exception. Another favorite of mine, 1987, just like the Ninja Warriors, is R-Type, a classic shooting game. I have said many times I find it's a 10 out of 10 game for me personally, and it's a game that I will always turn on, play the very first level, get to the first boss, very inspired by Alien, and uh, I, I just love it. It's a shooting game, side view, and uh, the graphics are really nice for the time period. This was a really big deal. And there were so many ports of this game over the years to the PC Engine, Turbo Graphics, you name it, it was there. I mean, there's so many versions of R-Type and there's been so many sequels over the years, but I always come back to the original R-Type. I love doing that first level over and over and over again. So those are just a few games I play in autopilot mode, but I'm always coming back to them and I have over the years. Another genre that I find the same type of relaxation with are ARPG games. ARPG games, short for action role-playing games, are also perfect brainless games for me. Games like Diablo, Titan Quest and the Torchlight series, especially. Most recent in memory we have Torchlight 3, also out on the Switch, which I can warmly recommend to you. There's a bunch of classes, a variety in weapon types and satisfying and joyful graphics. It's easy to autopilot through, just blast through the entire game without thinking of anything really. And with the quest markers it's simply very enjoyable to progress through. No brain needed. And when I say ARPG, I especially mean the top-down version of ARPGs, like Diablo style. It's actually sort of difficult to explain the simple fun of just watching your character on the screen, blasting through things, slashing through things, just tearing your way through a lot of exploding enemies, and picking up all the loot and gold on my way to unlock the maps. None of these games are shallow by any means, don't get me wrong, they provide plenty of meaningful content 
content and RPG elements as well. Now Van Helsing on the PS4 also comes to mind, also provides the same ARPG mindlessness feeling, which is good. And I don't believe I've ever mentioned the incredible adventures of Van Helsing on my channel before, but now I'm mentioning it. The first one is good and the second and third one are bad. You have that from me, get the first one. Just trust me on this. Now, when it comes to the Torchlight series, two and three are good. I'm always on the lookout for great ARPG titles, so if you know of any, feel free to suggest some for me down below. The last genre for this video, if you could guess it, what is the most mindless thing you can ever play? The next genre are Musou games. Also sometimes referred to as the Warriors genre. Some notable games like this would be Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2. Such good games on the PS4. Find them, play them, super fun. I can also of course mention the game that I always mention. <laughs> it's becoming a joke by now. Fire Emblem Warriors and have a look out on the new one that's coming. But I've mentioned that so many times that so you, you, you know about it. But I can also mention the much more well-known series, Hyrule Warriors, which are two games both found on the Switch. Hyrule Warriors, the first one, and the second one, which is Age of Calamity. I like Age of Calamity more, but they are the same genre. Super fun! The Musou genre is a tiny bit less mindless though, I have to say, than some of the earlier mentioned titles in this video. Sometimes there is more strategy involved and you have to pay a tiny bit more attention to the map and the objectives when playing these games. But basically you don't need much of a brain to play these games. Hyrule Warriors, guys. <laughs> and please don't forget to check out Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2. So that was our thoughts on that. Now we want to hear your opinion on what games do you play when you're stressed out and life is too much for you. I do believe that mindless games are good for mental health and all the things in the universe. I do believe that they are good for us, is what I'm trying to say. When we are stressed out, these games has helped me a lot to wind down and de-stress, basically. You need them in your life. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Please check out my podcast. It is a disky disc. You can listen to that everywhere. Spotify, Apple, YouTube. We have timestamps on the YouTube version though, which I recommend. Thank you Happy Console Gamer for being on my channel and we will see you later. Ska ha såna här som klä in såna mindless game. Kan du köra om det? Hej Jonas. Hej då. Ja, förstod. Ja. Ni har han på Youtube. Nej, dog. Det dog jag. Isha man. Det går ut. Nej.